You know what? You and I went to the same college. Shout out to Prairie View A&M University. We you graduated. did. Shout out to PV. Yes, we love PV. And you got your MFA from Columbia. You are just smart and you're old Dane. And then one of your first jobs was teaching <coughs> Shakespeare to teenagers. Now, what was that like? It was... It, it was exactly how it sounds. It was, like, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> It was it was interesting. It was exciting. I was teaching Shakespeare through uh, through a theater uh, company in New York, CSC, mm -hmm. um, and so we went out to different schools all throughout the five boroughs and taught Shakespeare. And I feel like um, for me, I connected to the kids because it's hard to teach kids anything. Like it's really hard to get them pay attention to anything at that age yes. because they kind of like they think they're grown. They're, they're more aloof. Yeah. Um, and kids in New York are not normal kids. They're not regular kids. They're like, they're, they're something, they just different. They, 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 they just different, you know, like they, they just, they, they different. These are like <laughs> more adult, these are the most adult children I've ever seen in the world. Um, but I feel like I connected to them because I didn't always see myself in Shakespeare. Like mm. when I look at it and when I see it performed often, I don't often see me. Um, yeah. But when I was in school at PV, which is HBCU, when I was in school in Columbia, like I was able to mm -hmm. sort of find my own in. I had like really, really, really excellent teachers. Um, shout out to, to Crystal Truscott and Kristen Linklater, who just helped me find my way in it and, and realize that it's more about human relationships. That's really what it is. Mm. Yeah. You're telling a story well about said. human emotion and human relationships. And once you tap into that, like there's a place for everybody. In I it. love that. Definitely. I love that. Well, you've definitely come a long way because now you're starring on The Neighborhood with Cedric the Entertainer and Tashina hey. Arnold. Okay, have you ever heard the saying, like, never meet your idols? Yes. Yeah. But yeah, in this I've, case, I've heard that. it seems like it's worked out for you. It is absolutely working out. It's 100%. Honestly, it's the, it's the best... It's the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. That's it's so, so It's awesome. so weird to say because you go from watching... You go from watching Pam... And Cedric the Entertainer, like you see these people, like a literal king of comedy and a TV icon. Like these are legends in their own right. Mm -hmm. And you watch them every day from the time that you can watch TV. Even sometimes when your parents say you can't watch this show, <laughs> like you sneak in and watch Martin. And oh. now I get to work with these people. I get to learn with these people. And they are exactly who I wanted and needed them to be. Like they're oh. exactly oh. as, like said, everybody's like, oh, Ced's everybody's uncle. He is exactly that, like that man is uh, is a blessing, really. Yes, he is. We love Ced, for sure. Word on the street is that you got to meet your celebrity crush through Cedric. Who is it? Uh -oh. And I want to know what happened. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, so, so uh, like I said, Cedric and Tashina are, like, they're, they're, they're caretakers. They put you under their wing. They're mentors. Mm -hmm. uh, one of Cedric's act, acts of, of mentorship was sort of uh, teaching me and my co-star, Sheehan McKinney, um, just like the lay of the land in the business. So he was sort of connecting the dots between black people in entertainment and television and like um, investing in Silicon Valley and different things like that. They were connecting oh, awesome. like all of these like really, really beautiful, brilliant black people. That's great. So you walk into this room and there's like all of these like really dope black celebrities. So everywhere I look, I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, one of those people happened to be one uh, Miss Nia Long who Ooh. walked in. Y'all, Nia Long been fine since I could conceptualize <laughs> what fine was, okay? Since I understood what fine Back. was, Nia Long been fine, okay. like fine, okay. fine. Okay. And it's one of those things to where, it's one of those things to where like, you, like your face gets high, you don't even know like kind of what to do and everybody is acting normal and I don't know how, what I'm supposed to do in that moment. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Said comes in, like she's like greeting everybody. Chris Spencer's there because Cedric and Chris were like hosting. They're greeting everybody and everybody's talking about like how to like recirculate the black dollar and all this stuff. And I have no, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I love um, it. Cedric introduces us, Cedric introduces us to, to Nia Long and she's so like warm and nice and like she's giving everybody hugs and she's like pressing her human body against my human body. And I'm just like, what? I don't know. Like, I don't deserve any of this. Like, I don't, like, she's talking directly to me, and I I don't, it was like an outer body experience. I don't oh, know what wow. happened. I don't know. 